Hindsight is an opportunity to look inward. As we reap the product of what we have sowed for generations, cries for help have become deafening. simplest path towards self-improvement is to listen. Our acoustic species identification team out of the Engineers for Exploration lab here at UCSD is collaborating with population sustainability researchers at the Beckman Center for Conservation Research at the San Diego Zoo. Our common goal is to develop and deploy machine learning and digital signal processing technologies that can parse through and extract significant information from terabytes of audio recordings, thus minimizing human labor that is commonly spent labeling and interpreting extensive audio sets collected around the world over long periods of time. By working towards species classification, we plan to leverage our collaborators' statistical models that have monitored the effects of different land use types such as logging or mining on tropical rainforests. We hope to find and push new boundaries within the bioacoustics field that take a holistic approach in improving the foundation of knowledge of the world's natural soundscapes that are begging to be heard. The summer of 2020 has kicked the Acoustic Species Identification Project into high gear as an up-and-coming Engineers for Exploration project. The team has worked as the tip of the spear in our collaborators' pilot program to break into the passive acoustic monitoring field. We have been provided with over 1,500 hours of audio collected from the Madre de Dios region of the Peruvian Amazon. The audio set consists of minute-long clips recorded every 10 minutes with open-source AudioMoth hardware set to a 384 kHz sampling rate. Such a dense data set taken over multiple months containing vocalizations outside the human hearing range has motivated us to take a multidisciplinary workflow. To break into the unsupervised machine learning field, we found work done by researchers in developing metrics for relative biodiversity observed in an audio clip. We found a use case for one such metric known as the Ecoacoustic Complexity Index, developed by Dr. Juan Colonna. This indice had the potential of identifying rain in our data, which could aid us in isolating insects and other patterns affected by rain. In the unsupervised clustering field, we have tested out the viability of species classification using different clustering techniques such as hierarchical k-means and spherical k-means. We have tested these methods with various clustering metrics on datasets from both the Peru audio set and on bird species calls from the public Xenocanto database. Our working clustering will lead into experimentation in the semi-supervised field to further seek the answer to whether or not we can confidently identify species with minimal labeling and training data. We deployed a more empirical digital signal processing approach to the rain classification task. This involved narrowing down known frequencies where rain can be detected between 600 to 1200 hertz. By looking at the signal to noise ratio and mean power spectral density over that range, we can consistently find values in our dataset where rain can be heard. By increasing the thresholds at which the detector labels a clip to be rain, we would consistently hear instances of trucks driving on the paths nearby the audio moths. It also helped pick out faulty clips that experienced electrostatic interference. When it comes to our ventures into the supervised machine learning field, we have narrowed our work down to bird vocalizations due to the Xenocanto ease of access to labeled audio. Before going directly into species classification, we decided it best to test out binary classification. We have leveraged a GitHub repository known as Microphone and vetted it on a test set of bird calls from the Madre de Dios region. With some confidence in our model, we have worked to use the local score values in order to narrow down positively labeled bird species clips into subclips with just the calls. Our hope is that by using the Open Soundscape Bioacoustics Classification Package developed by Kitsis Lab, we can use the narrow down clips to train our first species classifier. Looking into the future, we hope to continue to test out new techniques that can aid us in the extraction of knowledge from soundscapes around the world. Shutters just shut up